Good morning. Today, let us discuss the solution of quadratic programming problem by Bill's method. Applications of quadratic programming. Quadratic programming with linear inequality constraints has been widely appreciated by decision makers due to certain reasons. First, among all nonlinear programming problems, Quadratic programming with linear inequality constraints is easiest to solve. Second, mathematical analysis is easy by using the quadratic form. Third, quadratic objective function provides valid approximation to many utility functions. Finally, many economic and business problems fit directly into the QP models. So, solution of QPP by using Bill's method is very easy and easy to understand. And Bill's method is also famous method for solving quality problem. Problem. There is a, another method known as Wolf's method. Wolf uses the Kuntaker conditions and modified by Wolf's and then Wolf's solved the QPP by using simplex method. But in Bill's method, Bill's uses only classical methods. So in comparison to other methods, so Bill's method is, is very easy to understand. So today, let us solve one problem by using Bill's method. So now let us see how to solve this problem. So in this problem, the objective function is maximize fx. So this is a quadratic function subject to the constraints. The constraint is less than or equal to time. So now we need to introduce one select variable. So by introducing by introducing slack by introducing slack variable x3 the constraint the constraint becomes x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 equal to 4. Then let us take x3 as basic variable, x1, x2 as non-basic variable. So basic variable, let us take x3, then non-basic variable, x1, x2. Then the solution is then the initial solution is x1 equal to 0, x2 equal to 0, x3 equal to 4. This is the initial solution. Now express the basic variable in terms of non basic. So from this equation, we can take x3 equal to 4 minus x1 minus 
to x2. Then express the objective function in terms of non basic variable. So objective function is 4x1 plus 6x2 minus x1 square minus 3x2 square. So here x1, x2 are the non basic variable. After this, let us take partial derivative of fx with respect to x1 and putting x and b equal to 0. So you take partial derivative with respect to x1. So this is 4, this is 0, this is minus 2x1, this is 0. Then putting x1 equal to 0, x2 equal to 0, this is equal to 4. Then next, you find out del f by del x2, x and b equal to 0. You take derivative with respect to x2, so it becomes 6, then this is 0, then minus 6x2, then putting x1 equal to 0, x2 equal to 0. So this is Putting x to 0, it becomes 6. So now, del a by del x1 also positive, del a by del x also positive. So this indicates that the initial basic feasible solution is not an optimal. Now we need to improve further. So both the partial derivative with respect to x1, x2 are positive. So we have to take the largest one. The largest one is 6. So this 6 corresponds to the non-basic variable x2. So therefore, x2 will enter the basis, will enter the basis, will enter the basis. For the exit criterion, for the exit criterion, we have to calculate minimum of say alpha 3 0 by alpha 3 2 gamma gamma 2 0 by gamma 2 2 so this equal to minimum alpha 3 0 means constant term in the basic variable x3, so it becomes 4. Alpha 3 2 means coefficient of x2. Coefficient of x2 is minus 2. Then gamma 2 0 is a constant term in the partial derivative with respect to x2, so here 6. Gamma 2 2 is coefficient of x2, it becomes minus 6. So this is 1. This is 1, this is 2. Minimum is 1. So, this value 1 corresponds to, corresponds to gamma 2, 0, gamma 2, 2. So we need to a third variable u1. So now we need to introduce we need to introduce a free variable u1 in the non-basic solution and define is u1 equal to half of del a by del x2. So this equal to half 
del a by del x2, del a by del x2 here, 6 minus 6x2. So this is equal to 3 minus 3x2. Then the new basic solution. Then the new basic solution is x2 enter the basis. So x2 and x3 is previous one. Then non-basic x1 comma u1. This is a non-basic variable. And x2 enters the new basis. So this is a new basic solution. So now express this basic solution in terms of non-basic. So from this equation, you can find x2. So 3x2 equal to 3 minus u1. So this implies x2 equal to 1 minus u1 by 3. x2 in terms of non-basic. Then x3. So x3. So from the initial equation. So from from this u. Initial equation is x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 equal to 4. From this equation, you write x3. x3 equal to 4 minus x1 minus 2 x2. x3 is the basic variable. So 4 minus, you put the value of x1. x1 is the non basic This is OK. Then x2. Now you replace x2 by this expression 1 minus u1 by 3. This is equal to 4 minus x1 minus 2 minus minus plus 2 by 3 u1. So it becomes 2 minus x1 plus 2 by 3 u1. So now this is the expression of basic variable in terms of non-basic variable. Then next express the objective function fx. So fx is 4x1 plus 6x2 minus x1 square minus 3x2 square. So putting the x1 is the non-basic, this is okay. You substitute x2, 1 minus u1 by 3 minus x1 square minus 3 x2 square. x2 square means 1 minus u1 by 3 whole square. This is the expression of the objective function in terms of non-basic. Then you find out partial derived f with respect to x1. Then putting x and b equal to 0. So you take derivative with respect to x1, this is 4, this is 0, this is minus 2x1, this is 0. Then putting x1 is 0, u1 is 0. So it becomes 4. Then del f by del u1, then putting x and b equal to 0. So you take derivative with respect to u1. So this is 0 with respect to u1. So it becomes twice with respect to u1. Then this is 0. This is 
minus 6 1 minus u 1 by 3 then you take derivative of this minus 1 by 3 then putting the value x1 equal to 0 u1 equal to 0 then putting the value minus 2 minus minus plus this is 2 then 1 minus this is 0 so it become minus 2 plus 2 it become 0 so now partial derivative with respect to x1 is positive partial derivative f with respect to u1 is 0 so this is not an optimal stage we need to improve the basic solution so this 4 correspond to x1 so this is not an optimal stage this is not an optimal stage we need to improve the basic solution so now partial derivative with respect to x1 is 4 this is positive so this 4 corresponds to the variable x1 so now x1 will enter the basis now x1 will enter the basis for the exit criterion for the exit criterion we compute we compute minimum alpha alpha 2 0 alpha 2 1 alpha another variable is x3 so you write this is 3 alpha 3 1 alpha 3 1 gamma gamma 1 0 gamma 1 1 equal to minimum alpha 2 0 means constant time is 1 this is the coefficient of x1 there is no coefficient so it becomes 0 then alpha 3 0 alpha 3 is the coefficient of here coefficient is 2 and coefficient of x1 is minus 1 gamma 1 0 gamma 1 0 is the gamma 1 0 is here constant time is 4 coefficient of x1 minus 2 so it become 2 it become 2 1 by 0 2 by minus 1 4 by minus 2 is 2 so here 2 is in the second term also 2 third term also 2 so now we take in the last one so here 2 corresponds to gamma 1 0 gamma 1 1 this means that this means that we need to introduce a 
new variable u2 in the non-basic variable and define is define is u2 equal to half del f by del x1 so this is half del f by del x1 4 minus 2x1 so this is 2 minus x1 this is u2 so now new basic variables are x1 enters the basis so you take x1 then x2 x3 and non-basic this is u1 u2 then we have to express this basic variable in terms of non-basic variable so we have to calculate x1 so you you may take x1 this equation so x1 equal to 2 minus u2 you take x2 from the above equation so you take x2 equal to 1 minus 1 by 3 u1 then next you express x3 so you take x3 from the above equation 2 minus x1 2 by 3 u1 then putting the value of x1 2 minus x1 x1 is 2 minus u2 plus 2 by 3 u1 so this is 2 to cancel minus plus u2 plus 2 by 3 u1 this is the expression of the basic variable in terms of non-basic then express the objective function in terms of non-basic so in the above equation we have fx equal to 4x1 plus 6 1 minus 1 by 3 u1 minus x1 square minus 3 1 minus 1 by 3 u1 whole square 4x1 plus 6x2 x2 is here 1 minus 1 by 3 u1 then minus x1 square minus 3x2 square x2 is 1 minus 1 by 3 u1 whole square so this is the expression of the apex in terms of non-basic so this apex you have to substitute the below x1 also for x1 x1 is 2 minus u2 plus 6 1 minus 1 by 3 u1 x1 x1 is here 2 minus u2 whole square minus 3 1 minus 1 by 3 u1 whole square in the objective function putting the value of x1 and x2 so now fx is in terms of non-basic variable then you find out del f by del u1 then putting x and b equal to 0 you take derivative with respect to u1 so this is 0 with respect to u1 so it become minus 2 with respect to u1 okay here uh, this is u2 this is 0 then here 6 
2 here 6 1 minus 1 by 3 u1 into derivative of this minus 1 by 3 so it's equal to minus 2 minus minus plus this is 2 1 minus 1 by 3 u1 then putting the value u1 equal to 0 u2 equal to 0 putting the value u1 0 u2 0 so it become minus 2 plus 2 1 minus this is 0 so it become minus 2 plus 2 0 del by del u1 is 0 next you find del f by del u2 del f by del u2 x and b equal to 0 so you find derivative with respect to u2 so with respect to u2 this is 4 2 minus uh, 2 is 0 u2 is 1 then then this is 0 with respect to u2 yeah 2 will be here 2 2 minus u2 then derivative of this it become minus 1 then last one derivative is 0 then putting the value u1 0 u2 0 so this is minus 4 this minus minus plus 2 2 minus 0 minus 4 plus 4 0 so now both del by del u1 is 0 del by del u2 is 0 so this is an optimal state this is an optimal this is an optimal stage so therefore the solution therefore the solution is x1 equal to it become 2 then x2 putting the below u1 is 0 it become 1 then for x3 putting the value u1 is 0 u2 is 0 so x3 0 then find maxima fx equal to find out the value for x1 x1 mean 2 plus 6 x2 x2 means 1 minus x1 square so 2 square minus 3 x2 square x2 square means 1 square so it become i it becomes 6 minus 4 minus 3 so this is 14 then this is 7 this is the value of the apex so this is the solution so now I will give you one assignment problem so you try this problem by using the same technique as I have done here thank you